everybody welcome back we're moving with texas all water fishing and i'm getting all my gear together uh, the surf has looked good the last few days and i want in on some of that action um what what we're seeing honestly is that the surf is clean uh, towards the afternoon but i'm gonna get up and try my luck in the morning last night we had we did have a little bit of wind so i'm afraid that it's going to stir things up and it's gonna make the the water a little choppy. We have stronger stronger winds coming out of the south, and what that does is, like I said, the the, the waves come in and things get stirred up around the rock groins. I'm gonna fish off the seawall. I'm gonna take some spoons and a couple different kind of lures. Uh, during this time of year, it's really kind of safe to place uh, in a live shrimp if you are looking for more of a sure thing but I don't feel like stopping for bait I don't feel like getting the bait bucket out so I'm gonna hit the rocks and see what happens don't forget we do have a patreon page so if you're interested in being a becoming a patreon there's a link in the description section below and most and everything that I'm using from spoons to my rock cleats to sponsorship there there's tons of tons of links and uh, what I'm fishing with as far as rod and reel and line goes all that stuff and is in the description section because I know a lot of times people do ask me what what pound of test line am I using what reel am I throwing with what rod am I throwing with and all that is down there as well but thanks for coming back Texas all water fishing don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and do so I wish me luck I'm gonna keep getting my gear together and then get out there on the water Casting a style spoon, 32 grams. It's a little heavy. But it's so cloudy. I want the fish to be able to see it. The sun's not up that much yet, so I'm not really necessarily trying to match the hatch with this one. I'm just trying to get their get a reaction, get them to wake up and see it. I'm fishing with a larger spoon. I'm really not trying to so much to get a trout to bite as I am trying to get a reaction strike. I am fishing erotically, letting the lure, letting the spoon fall from the topper water column to the mid to lower water column. Just big movements with the spoon, trying to get a reaction strike, and then BAM! Hooked up. Keep your fish? Yeah, I'll keep it. Let me see how big he is. I got a measure right here. All the spots. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's been a while. He might be. He might make it. That's a speckled trout. Has to be 15 inches. I call it fish taco. He's 15, 15 and a quarter. There you go, my man. You say so. No. Nope. <laughs> so we finally have that blue water coming closer. You can see bait start popping and popping, and you can start to smell the bait. And hopefully. They get close enough where you can cast to them and then we can start hooking up. A big one? Better be a big one. Camera's rolling. 
last two were better. There you go. Last two were better? Yeah, 18 and 19. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hanging out on that little drop. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Good job, man. Yeah. How's it going? Right here, look. Look, the speck right there. See him swimming? That must have been one that you released. He kind of, he looked a little wounded. <laughs> that one you threw off the rocks. <laughs> There you go. There you go. That's a big boy right there for you. Nice. That circle hook. Yep. Right in the corner of the mouth. There you go. Hold him up. There you go. Barely got him in there. Nice. Yeah, you did. Look at that. Barely. Dang. Got him by an eyelid. Yep. Not a whole lot of skin there. Good. I might have to change my bait. <laughs> you doing any good? No. <laughs> Just getting some exercise today, casting. Are you a YouTuber? I am. Texas all water fishing. Texas all water fishing? Uh huh. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I don't know. I'm like three behind, so probably not to. Maybe end of next week. Get him, Jose. <laughs> Jay Z so, in the so house. Going to the left. Watch your step. Where's he at? Right in front of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's already, he's already on the dock. Here, hold him up. Hold your baby up. Let me see your, let me see your twenty oh, inch. Oh, womp womp. He's like, oh no, they're Thanks here to get me. <laughs> All right, so what I'm throwing here is I'm throwing a couple of gulp. This is penny with chartreuse. Swim mullet, three ounce jig head, H2O Express, twist and lock. And well, I don't remember what ounce this is, but you can see it's obviously lighter jig head. This is very similar to the same way I tie the Gitter Dunn rig. Just make your lines for them much longer. And a couple loop knots, uni to uni knot, loop knots holding to the jig head, a couple of uni uni knots holding from my leader line to my main line oh a shark a shark got it a little black tip i want to land him oh yeah i know i saw his, i saw his tail yep There it goes. He got off. Yeah, I got him. Hey, <laughs> catch? No, you don't want to catch? Is that charred? Yeah. Oh Little black tip. Yeah. Oh, no, not too close. That's cool. Wow, it's the first time that I see so yeah. close at charred. This is a little baby. Nice little black tip right here. Cut his fin. But nice little guy. Let him go. <clears throat> yeah, he's gone. As soon as he hit the water. I want nice cleats. Keeping me dry. Keep me from getting dirty, rather. Well, you know what? It ended up being a beautiful day. Very little wind. Green water came in, and it's probably continued to come in all afternoon. But 
I think I have been here for six hours and it's hot. I ran into a Patreon out here, Jose. Jose tracked me down. No, <laughs> not really. But yeah, it's hot. Nothing much going on. We do have clean water, cleaner water that came in, some green water. And I think over the next couple of days, it's probably gonna be green. It'll probably be green tomorrow. And if not the next day, I don't think it'll be clean after that. We do have a little bit of wind that picks up. But you know, you never know. You never know what the forecast and everything else is going on. Typically, I would say, with a strong outgoing tide like we had the last couple of days, I would think in the afternoon it would get dirtier, but it's done the complete opposite in the afternoon. It has got cleaner as the day has gone on. And right now we have little patches and streaks. It doesn't mean there's not trout out there. You can always catch trout in sandy water. And especially when you have some green and cleaner water right there on the edge, you can always catch trout too, which is not happening for us today. Um, I think the trout has been picky and they wanted live shrimp and that was the key today saw a few nice specks get caught on live shrimp didn't have live shrimp had some gulp had some spoons and uh threw top water to rattle trap i threw a few different a few different kind of style of baits but hey don't forget we do have a patreon you can be just like jose see jose you can be you can be just like jose be a patron today and uh Join Patreon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to. Hope you like this video by now. If not, go ahead and click like before this video is over. I'll give you a second. I'll wait for you. All right, now that you got that done, appreciate you guys. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.